Hello, this is Ray Luka. I'm going to the third grade, and I love Dr. Walk and Sam. Say yay. Yay. Tim Wade, I love Dr. Sam on Fox 34. He is such a motivational speaker. For my current world, living in now and not in the past and the future, live right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, I'm Samantha Fluella, and I'm here with Walter Sims, and he is just great. Just like everybody, I already know him. So he is just wonderful. So make sure you tune into the show. Thank you, yep. and have a great day. Here you go, Dr. Sims. Here's your favorite meal from Delectable Edibles, chicken salad sandwich with fruit. And we, just like you love the sandwich, we love you. Welcome you all to another Saturday on the one and only Dr. Walk to Sim show. I am so excited just to be here with him and just to record another Jess Kendra segment. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember to support him. Support, support, support. You have so many people in the world today that do things um, for recognition, but he actually does it from his heart. So y'all tune in. Support this man. His book, everything that he does in the community. Y'all smile. Tag him, the Dr. Walter Sim Show. Let him know that you all are tuned in. Let him know that you encouraged and that you're motivated after watching the show. He updates you on events, on what's going on in Dothan, um, restaurants, fitness, everything. He covers all areas of Dothan. Support, support, support. And because I'm here today, I just want to simply talk about don't waste your time. Yes, don't waste your time. Just like, you know, we, we, you know, we treat life as if we do our cell phones. The talk is unlimited and the text is unlimited. However, your time is not. Your time is not unlimited. Just to be honest, we don't know when God is going to whisper our name. He's going to call us. And when we get there, what can we say we've done? Will you get a well done or will you get a well said or will you get a well tried? Or will you say, well, God, I would have but. Well, God, I would have but he or she. No, that's not acceptable. We all came in by ourselves we're going to leave out by ourselves and so many times in life we ignore the signs we ignore the little things that god is attempting to turn us from the little things that he's saying no not yet no this is not the time no that's not the person but yet we continue to pursue these things as if we have unlimited time your time is not like your cell phone your text your talk is unlimited but your time on earth is not Listen, you have to pursue your purpose. Kendra, what's my purpose? Your passion. What is it that you do that make you feel good and you don't even have to be paid for it? You just simply love to do it. Who are, who are those people that you're around and you just love to be around them? Whether they broke, whether they have a job, whether they don't have a job, no matter what size they get, no matter uh, where they live, you simply love that person. Those are the people that you keep around because they will not waste your time. That's right. Don't waste your time. Because when we waste our time, it's simply, and the only way that I can actually um, put it into um, a metaphor, so to speak, um, I'm a very visual person, so this is how I see it. It's like a car accident. There are signs out there. And whether it's somebody running a red light, running a stop sign, they didn't yield, they pulled out in front of you, what, whatever it is, they was driving a little too close, they hit you in the back, whatever it is, the signs were there. You just refuse to, you just actually refuse to acknowledge those signs. So, so many times in life, and then we want to blame somebody else. Oh, I didn't see that sign. That sign was too far back. You know why? Because you were distracted. Whether it was reaching back to the kids or texting on your phone or whatever it was, the signs was there. But your focus wasn't. And relationship-wise, you knew that person was a liar. You knew they was a user. You knew they was an abuser. All of the signs was there, but you were distracted by what you want versus what it was or what it is. Do not, do not ignore the signs. Your value is worth more than anything on this earth. So don't waste your time. Your time is limited. And somebody needs you. Somebody needs your purpose. Somebody needs everything that's on the inside of you. Others need. So don't, do not die with 
with all of that stuff that people needed to live. Don't do it. Don't waste your time. Remember, watch the signs. Okay? Don't waste your time. I love you. Remember, I'm just Kendra. I'm just living. I'm just learning. I'm just loving. These aren't facts. These are just my own life lessons. Thank you all once again, and thank you as well, Dr. Sims, for having me. Brother Charlie Jones, how long have you been in the lawn care business? Approximately about 18 years. Really? Well, what makes you so different than the other people doing lawn care? Well, I put my heart into it, and I treat each lawn as if it's mine. And as my card says, I uh, offer quality without compromise. Oh, man, that is good, man. If anybody want to use you, what number should they call? Well, you can reach me at 334 four zero five zero seven nine five. Oh man i'm gonna be giving you a call because i've heard good things about you yes sir i give nothing but the best all right thank you brother charlie you're welcome kind of rookie hello you all this is me just kendra and listen i want to do a huge favor for dr sims y'all i want him to continue to be encouraged to continue to motivate and change the world by starting right here in dothan Listen, we're looking for sponsors. Yes, you. You could be a sponsor. Whether you want to promote your business, whether you want to advertise, whether you want to become a guest, or you just want to give a monetary donation. Hey, give it. Listen, we want to keep this show going. We want to keep this show growing, okay, because it's touching lives. It's changing lives. Listen, if you want to be a sponsor, if you want to advertise, if you want to become a guest on the show, listen, send an email, like right now, to the Dr. Walter Sims Show at gmail.com. Don't wait. Do it now. Do it now. There's no other show on the air on Fox 34 like this one. This local show is changing the world. Become a, listen, become a sponsor. Don't wait. Call, look, email him now. Email now. You want to be a part of this because it's hard to find people that don't want to do anything for recognition, but they do it straight from their heart. You want to, listen, you, listen, this, this person you want to sow into, I guarantee you there will be a return on your investment. Don't miss the Dr. Walter Sims Show, Saturday mornings at 8.30 on WDFX-TV, Fox 34. This is Pastor Walter Bowers of the New Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. I'm glad to be a part of the Walter Sims Show today. And I do want you to know that we have some exciting things happening in the community. Uh, the New Bethel Missionary Baptist Church will be taking part in a citywide uh, blitz. And in that blitz, we'll be offering services to various organizations throughout the community. And we do believe that our efforts are going to be in the benefit of a lot of people. Reverend Bowers Jr., how excited are you this morning that you have brought Dope the Mission Blitz to us by way of Ebenezer uh, Church in Charlotte, North Carolina? You're working with New Bethel, the, the, the site of your father's ministry here in the Wildgrass. How excited are you this morning? I'm super excited, first and foremost, always to God be the glory for this opportunity to serve the great people uh, in the city of Dothan. Uh, we're excited to blitz the city of Dothan. What does that mean? That means that quite simply that we're going to go out and do our best to make an impact in the name of our Lord and Savior uh, by conducting uh, over 15 mission projects simultaneously throughout the city of Charlotte. We're looking for approximately 200 uh, volunteers to share the love of Jesus Christ by serving others with uh, no strings attached. We will have something for everybody. That even goes down to our tots all the way up to our senior citizens. There is something for everyone uh, to do. And if you happen to be out of town and if you can't participate on that particular day, uh, we just want you to pray. We want you to be excited and we want you to be prepared for this amazing move of God that is about to happen in this city. And the folk in Charlotte are ready for this road trip. They are pumped <laughs> up. They've heard good things about Dothan. Amen. They heard you guys eat good. They heard you, better you guys say it. worship good. And so we are just excited and are looking forward to August the 29th. That's good. Uh, 8 a.m. Uh, until 1 p.m. What's the what's the location that everyone needs to be at on August the 29th? Well, great question. So everybody will meet here uh, at 8 o'clock a.m., uh, which is uh, New Bethel Baptist Church, 
That's 1110 Allen Road here in Dothan, 1110 Allen Road, uh, Dothan, Alabama. This will be the meeting ground. And once we meet here, we have our, a brief uh, pet rally that will be sponsored uh, by the great Dr. Sims and my father, uh, uh, Dr. Bowers. Once we have that pet rally, we yes, will disperse sir. Yes, sir. and go out and do what God has called us to do. What, you know, real quickly, uh, Reverend Bowers, what is your motivation? Why? Uh, I see the smile on your face, and I saw that gleam in your eye when you were presenting us this morning with the orientation. Why are you so excited about this? I think uh, I'm most excited because when I reflect upon uh, the position I could be in, in other words, I could be one of those people uh, that are in need of service, that needs a helping hand at it. That oh, that's good. I'm, that's I'm going good. through something. But right now, God has put me in a position where I get to serve others. We get to serve that is something that we should think about and reflect upon the fact that it's a privilege to get to serve others we could be on the other side but today on august 29th we are blessed and accordingly we're going to share our blessings with our brothers and sisters because we get to serve and we get to do greater oh that's good man well listen i'm hype you hype oh, yes, dothan sir. better watch out because we about to drop a blitz on dothan man. hey, hey. <laughs> appreciate you Bowers. yes sir thank you hey guys for all of your nutritional and health needs go see my friends at health concepts located at 1901 wise drive here in dothan alabama they're open monday through friday from nine o'clock a.m to five o'clock p.m and they're open on saturdays from 10 o'clock a.m a.m. Uh, till about 1 o'clock p.m. Uh, I love the water that they have. Their water is better than any water that you may find. Listen, go see Lisa, Doreen, and Sam, the water man, and they will help you live a healthy and nutritional lifestyle. everyone we are here uh, on location at delectable edibles uh, which is located on foster street downtown dothan and we just want to say happy saturday and good morning all that good stuff hey quinona hey dr sam give me a high five boom that's what we're talking about <laughs> well listen you may ask yourself we see quinona all the time around the wild grass but today she wants to talk to us about something the lord has laid on her heart this is her second year anniversary of, of I want to call it a new ministry. I want to call wow. it a ministry uh, because anytime you're impacting lives, Amen. Uh, you're serving. And, 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 and I use serving and ministry synonymously because that's part of our calling is to serve one another yes. because we are our brother's keeper. So tell everybody about this new ministry. Well, it's called A Change in Me and um, it's a domestic violence event where we are actually trying to educate the community, whether it's through um, self-defense. Okay. Um, the House of Roof will be there this year. Okay. okay. To tell a little bit about what they do. Okay. Um, Miss Karen Bowens. Um, and also we have a survivor, which is Anique, Anita Dawkins. Okay. Which she'll be telling her story. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so, so what was your motivation behind starting a change in me? Because um, domestic violence is that event that uh, is that nobody wants to talk about. Um, they rub it. It's like the elephant in the room. Nobody wants oh, to talk wow, about. Oh wow! Wow! So God laid it on my heart last year. Okay. To open the door to say, okay, look, let's talk about domestic violence. Let's change people. We don't want them just to come to the event and sit down and then leave. And then we want to change them. We want them to be come one way and leave another way oh, wow. whether you know more about self-defense defending yourself you know more about the house of roof or you understand that people are going through things beside you and you don't you know a lot of times people walk around day to day yeah being beat on talked about wow. talked down on wow. and don't even know that they're going through this wow so wow. to make yourself aware of people around you right because sometimes people are calling out for help and we don't even realize and it. And we don't even know it. We don't even so, know it. So tell everybody, when, when is the event? Where is it going to be? When and what time? Okay, it's actually October the 10th okay. at Westgate. And it's at 6 o'clock sharp. <laughs> sharp. What you say? You didn't say sharp, did you? Yeah. Um, www.facebook.com slash a change in me DB. Okay. okay. 
Okay. And you can inbox me on there. My name is Quinona Valentine Gifford on Facebook. You okay. can inbox me on there. Okay. Because we're actually doing, we're trying to get 10 stories of people that actually been through domestic violence wow. to wow. do a booklet on to raise money for the House of Roof. Because our goal this year is to raise $1,000 or more, or more for the House of Roof to, to donate. Because they are such a um, big part in domestic violence yeah. and they do a lot with children and, and you know, and parents, whether it's a, I don't want to say a mother, but also fathers go Amen. through it too. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. So, That's good. Yeah. That's good. So we want to give back to them because they're like the centerpiece of changing women. What, uh, real quickly, as we wrap up the interview, what would be some encouragement you'll give anybody that's going through uh, a domestic violent type situation right now? Well, um, first of all, I, I don't encourage any, well, I'm not gonna say I don't encourage, but I would never tell anyone to leave a person. Because to me, in your mind, in your heart, you have to decide that within yourself. Right, right. But I will say um, this, that I don't believe that God would want you to be hurt. I don't want you, you know, and then also I would say, look at your, sometimes we look at our kids. Right, right. And we cause that cycle through ourselves. Right, I mean, we right. cause that cycle through our kids. That's right, that's right. Because if we go you. through I something and we deal and with gonna something, see it and they're, they're going to see it. Right, right. And they're thinking that that's okay because we are our kids' first teacher. That's right. So whatever we want our kids to deal with, I like we need that. to realize so, to so, what, so what you're saying is that, you may not think what you're going through is, is harmful. You can deal with it. Right. But you have to look at the kids. Right. Do you want your kids right. to go through that? Just oh, think wow. of you as you get older, would, if your daughter comes to you and says, their man did what your spouse or your husband or boyfriend did to you, would you accept that through your kids? Oh, wow. That's good. That's because good. Because a good. lot of times That's we good. take things That's and good. we say, oh, it's okay. It's okay. But your kids and your son, or right, if your son did that yeah. to your to his wife. And, and you know something else, and, and I, 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 we, need a, we need so much more time to deal with this. What are some of the signs? And since we're here and, and giving some encouragement, what are the signs of an abusive relationship? Well, if he makes you feel not, you know, like it's kind of one of the things um, you, you know within yourself. Because if he make you feel a certain way, yeah, yeah, or if your self-esteem yeah. is going down. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. just like Ke Keandra Koontz talked about last year, um, she was talking about her relationship. And she was like, oh, it was so, it was picture perfect at the beginning. Wow, wow. And it was so lovely and this and that. And he started pulling away from her family. And then all of a sudden, and bam, you know, he changed. So sometimes you so again, give some contact information. If they want to get in touch with you about the upcoming event in o in October, mm -hmm. how can they contact you? Um, well, they can contact me through my Facebook page. They can contact me through um, my phone number is 334 okay. 701 okay. 2905. You can contact me directly. Um, you can contact me through my email, um, www. Q S T O U C H okay. dot com. I meant, sorry. Q Q S T O U C H B Y Q U E at Gmail. In fact, and if, we'll put it on the screen. <laughs> yeah. If you want to put your um, if you want to tell your story, you can um, email me. You can be anonymous. If you want to add pictures, whether it's happy pictures, because the whole point of the stories yeah. is, in the end, to encourage someone that you can leave. That's right. Um, That's it, right. You know, I know you want to tell every detail, but you don't have to. Right. But it's more about the end part what of encouraging, because it's called a survivor booklet. That's good. So to encourage people. And, and at, at the end of the day, love doesn't hurt. Yes. At the end of the day. Love That's doesn't true. hurt. Well, I applaud you for what you're doing. Thank you. And and I hope uh, the event is gonna really bless uh, a whole lot of people. You know I'll be there. Yes. You know I I'll be will. there, right? Thank you. All and, right. And also, um, I want to let you know, the local, I will be doing an article in the local in September, 
and in October. So if you want to hear a little bit more about a Change Me story, you pick up the local. And they were real good to me. And um, Bistro is doing our catering this year. So what we're excited say? What about you that. Say? Oh, I'm, I'm going to be there. That's some good sum tea. That's some yes. good sum tea. All right. Well, listen, y'all hold tight. And uh, we'll be right back. Thank you, Miss Q. Boom, blow it up. <laughs> Don't miss the Dr. Walter Sims Show, Saturday mornings at 8.30 on WDFX-TV, Fox 34. Hi, I'm Sonia Warren. I'm with SWAG, Strong Women Assisting Great Girls, and I am about to be on the Dr. Walter Sims Show. For all of your car care needs, please go see my friends Greg and Teresa over there at Proformers Car Care Center. It's located at 3369 West Main Street, Dalton, Alabama. Uh, you can call and set up your appointment at 334-671-3083. They're the only AAA approved repair facility in the Wiregrass I trust him with all of my vehicles, and I know you can too. And listen, when you get over there, tell him Dr. Yeah, Sam sent you. All right. Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. This is Dr. Walter Sims, and I am with Sister Sonya this morning. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? You're looking so cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Well, listen, tell everybody, what is swag? Swag is strong women assisting great girls, and what we do okay. is we just go out and we um, try to mentor the girls oh, and wow. just um, connect them with people that can encourage them Amen. and just let them know that it's more to life than just right here. Oh, that is so good. So, uh, what motivated you to do something like this? Because I'm telling you, working with young ladies now, that's uh, that's a challenge. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yes. Because yes, most yes. of the women I know are spoiled, so. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, it's, a yeah. it's a challenge working with it young is. ladies. It's, so, it's, so what's been your motivation? My motivation has been um, God gave me a vision. Okay. And at first I wasn't obedient to oh, him. Oh, wow. I wasn't wow. obedient to him. But he whooped me. Okay. He whooped me. He whooped me. And I prayed and I prayed. And I said, okay, God, I'm going to do it. Amen. I'm going to do it. And God, he, when he when He sing you, he don't send you with nothing. He equip, he equip you, you to say. go. If he give you the vision, he's yes. already got the provision. That's, Is that right? That's right. That's, that's good. It. That's good. But um, I just lo I love what I do. I love helping young girls. Oh, I love helping good. everybody. But that's a blessing. My passion is with helping young girls to become ladies and let them know Amen. that you know your character is what's gonna ki carry you. Oh wow! So, yeah. so what's real quickly? I know you got a big event coming up on the 29th. But what's one thing you try to instill in the young ladies? The the one thing that I try to instill in the young ladies is that you are somebody. Come on now. Don't let anybody oh, define who you are. That's you define good. who you are. That's and good. once you love the Lord, it's easy to love yourself as well as others. Oh, that's big. And and we I just got through uh, interviewing Quinona. Uh, she's got something going on, and that came out of what she talked about. You have to love yourself. Oh, yes, yes. You know, you have to love yourself. And I heard you say it, you got to have a relationship with the Lord. That's right. That's and then right. you have to love yourself. So so what, is, what do you tell the young ladies to encourage them to love themselves? What do you tell them? I just tell them, I always like to tell the girls that you are beautiful. What? I, I like, I you, love to that tell What you tell them, beautiful. I wake up like this. You, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I just tell them, you know, that you are beautiful. Oh, tell good. yourself that you are beautiful, good, you know, because good. it starts within. It, it starts within because you can come have, on, a, pre come you on, can have a pretty you. face. And, and that's okay. You can, you can have a pretty you know, face, but if you don't got it in here, girl, it's girl, nothing. What? It's, it's got to be on the inside. It's got to be on the inside. But what's coming up on August the 29th? August the 29th, Swag is hosting a Gospel Youth Talent Showcase. That's good. And it's going to be... Um, at five o'clock okay. at Southdale Middle School in okay. the big old Pinkard, Alabama. <laughs> so I am asking everyone to please come out and support us That's on good. this event. Um, it, we're going to have a good time praising the Lord and just oh. worshiping. What you said, I'm going to put the information on the screen. You want everybody to be there? Yes, everybody. Everybody <laughs> come. Please come. Oh, that's going to be if good. You would, and if you would like to showcase your talent, just give me a call okay. at 334 237 3600, and I'll be more than happy to put you what? on the roster. Yes, sir. If, if, if I want to. If, if you want. Yes, sir. Mm, I believe I can fly. You better say okay. it. <laughs> you better say it. Yes, sir. That is good. So, yes, so sir. if anybody wants to want to help you with swag, what, yes. what? What do they need to do? Just call me. I, my number again is 334-237-3600. 
you're more than welcome. Oh, and that we is are, such a blessing. We are a nonprofit organization as well. Oh, awesome. And, and yes, and what we're doing, this is one of our big fundraisers that okay. we're having. Okay, okay. So, because we're trying to... Um, Get the girls. We're going to take them to the Black College Expo in Atlanta. Oh, wow. January the 23rd. So this is going to help us. So y'all please come out and support us. Oh, that is us. beautiful. That is beautiful. Now you got about, we got about 257,000 people watching. Wow. So what what keeps you motivated, Miss Sonia? What's your thing? What keeps you smiling? You got a beautiful smile. <laughs> Hashtag you. million smile march. I want to make a million people Thank smile. You. Thank and, you. and I love your smile. So what's your secret? I, I love the Lord. Amen. I love God. Um, he's been so good to me. Yeah. And I could never repay him back for Amen. what he's done for me. But if he don't do nothing else, if he don't do <laughs> not now, I'm, not I'm, now, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying not to preach. I'm trying not to go there. But God's just so good. I'm trying not to go there. But as, as your parents will say, as the Westerners will say, if he don't do nothing else, nothing else, he's already done enough. I love that spirit. I love that Thank attitude. You. God Thank is good. You. Yes, one more, is. one more time. Tell us about August 29th. What's the what's location, date, time, and all that good stuff? Talk August to August the 29th at five o'clock at Southdale Middle School in the big old Pinkard, Alabama. Yeah, big city. Woo -woo. We are going to have a gospel talent youth showcase. Oh, that's good. And we got a special guest, which will be Nalarence Davis, our yeah. own. And then we also have the. Kingdom Crunk Music Group out of Mississippi. What They're you gonna say? Perform as what well. you say? So come out and be blessed. That's good. Good. Thank you for stopping by. Oh yeah, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all hold tight. We'll be right back. High five. <laughs> was that all right? That was okay. Me. I already had you sit. Sit back in the middle. Okay. Sit back in the middle. Don't miss the Dr. Walter Sims Show, Saturday mornings at 8.30 on WDFX-TV, Fox 34. I want to say to all my young ladies out there, never feel like that you're not beautiful because you are. Never let anyone define who you are because you are somebody. And... I just want to say that I love each and every last one of you girls, and I want y'all to just keep striving. Just know that there's help out there. Don't ever settle for anything. If you're going through something, feel free to call me at 334-237-3600. Are you stuck in a rut? Do you need somebody that'll be able to push you where you need to be pushed? Are you in a place where you need just uh, some motivation and some positivity? If the answer is yes to these questions, contact Dr. Walter Sims at 205-225-9757. And as he always says, if you stay high on life, life will stay high on you. We would like to thank our guests for appearing on the Dr. Walter Sims Show this morning. If you would like to advertise with us, become a sponsor, or even be a guest on our show, please contact our office at 205-225-9757 or send an email to the Dr. Walter Sims Show at gmail.com. The Dr. That's Dr. Walter Sims Show at gmail.com. Again, thank you for tuning in. May God richly bless you, and we will see you again next week.